This is the Rubis Business Solutions How-To Guide for Multiple Choice Question Types, uh, a form within Google Documents. So you'll see, based on the exercise that you've been probably following along with, you'll see that I've created our questions here. Uh, we have our questions and our page break. Uh, the veggies are yummy. And we I've only included two questions, so you may have more if you were doing something a little bit different or asking a few more questions. So you see our carnivores delight section and our exit question. And the last how fortunate and the thank you for sharing section. So that's just an overview of the form I created. Uh, yours might look a little bit different, but these are the key fields that you'll need to complete the exercise. So the first thing to notice is the First question, we want to make sure that vegetarians get a specific set of questions and carnivores also get a specific set of questions. So we're going to use the multiple choice function of go to page based on an answer uh, in order to make that happen. So go ahead and click done. And I'm also going to take a look at the veggies are yummy section and you'll notice that this multiple choice question doesn't have the go to page based on answer option selected and I've added in a couple responses, response options. And then the last question in the series of questions should be a multiple choice question. Uh, we do go ahead and select the go to page based on answer and then based on their answer we're going to send them to a specific page. So if they say yes we're going to send them to the thanks for sharing page and if they choose no, we'll send them to the How Unfortunate page. So go ahead and save and click Done. And we're going to do the same thing for the Carnivore's Delight. First question, nothing wrong with the Go To page based on answer function. And the second question, we'll go ahead and edit that to Yes is going to equal Thanks for Sharing. And then the no option uh, is going to be the How Unfortunate page. And we'll go ahead and save. Now when they click How Unfortunate or no, and it lands on the How Unfortunate page, they'll get an extra little comment box. And we're just gonna go back and save that. And let's take a look at the form, see what it looks like, make sure that we test before we send it out to our responders. So let's go to the live form. Here's the survey. And we're going to become a vegetarian to begin with and click continue. We'll choose an entree option that we had. And green eggs and tofu sounds good. And this is where we get into our yes, no sort of variation. So we choose yes. And by going to continue, we're going to see the thank you for sharing page. And at that point, they get the submit button. But if we go back, and if a vegetarian were to come in and select uh, that they didn't enjoy the entree, they would get the how unfortunate page. Tell us, dear soul, what was wrong with it. And then they would go to the thanks for sharing page and get the submit option, which would be the end of the survey. So we want to make sure that the carnivore also has a streamlined transaction. So let's choose a couple options here. Yes page should land on thanks for sharing with the submit button. And if we go back and change the no to the no option, that should result in the how unfortunate page. Click continue, they'll go to the thanks for sharing page. This is just a very simple form. I uh, hope it helps and have a great one.